Good evening and thanks for joining us. Jamie has the evening off. Here's what we're talking about. We've got the excessive heat warning and the heat advisories that continue until Saturday. And with that, the hot and humid conditions continue into the weekend as well. Good news is that we have a cold front that will bring in some rain and some relief into next week. We'll get to that in just a minute. Highs today topped off at 95 in Springfield, 91 in Branson, 91 in West Plains, and 92 up in Rolla. 95 here in Springfield is the warmest we have gotten in the year of 2019. Good news is that at least things are quiet. We're not expecting any rain through the overnight hours. We are expecting these warnings to continue, though. We've got an excessive heat warning in effect for north of I-44, and that's because we have temperatures topping off in the middle to upper 90s with heat indices between 105 and 110. This goes until Saturday at 8 p.m. And we've got a heat advisory in effect for south of I-44. Also goes until 8 p.m. on Saturday, and that's because temperatures will be in low to middle 90s with heat indices between 100 and 105. So a couple things you want to remember, wear lightweight and light colored clothing, drink plenty of water and look before you lock. Make sure you're checking on both the elderly and your pets. You want to make sure that they are also staying hydrated, staying cool, and you want to trim their hair, not shave it because they actually can get sunburned as well. And as always, look before you lock. Hot cars can be deadly to both children and to pets. Here's what we have going on is we have this high pressure this area of heat and humidity just stuck over the Ozarks, not moving, and that's what's keeping us hot and humid throughout this week and into this weekend. Overnight tonight, temperatures only going to drop into the middle 70s. Tomorrow, I expect lots of sunshine and temperatures once again in the 90s area wide. I also expect feel like temperatures to be in the triple digits area wide through much of the afternoon. Notice temp uh, feel like temperatures will be slightly warmer, slightly higher north of I-44 where that excessive heat warning is in place and temperatures will be a little bit cooler south of the interstate and so will feel like temperatures, which is why that heat advisory is in effect. Regardless of where you are, it is going to be very hot, very humid. We're going to keep the heat index values in the triple digits for Saturday and for Sunday as well. What's going to happen is this heat dome, this area of high pressure going to stick around through the end of this week and into the weekend. Watch what happens though. Notice on Monday our heat index value drops significantly and that's because we're going to have a cold front come from the north chipping away at that hot heat dome of high pressure and behind that cold front is going to be some showers, some cooler temperatures and some more comfortable conditions. Those showers will come in late Sunday night into Monday. Look at the temperature difference. It is so significant. Temperatures will be in the middle 90s through Sunday. Scattered showers and storms Monday. We have temperatures in the 80s by Monday. Less humid, more comfortable, more pleasant conditions Tuesday, Wednesday and into Thursday with plenty of sunshine. Even the overnight low is going to drop into the 60s. So you might want to be able to give your AC a break through mm -hmm. next week. Yeah, That's look, good to hear. Mm -hmm. A lot of yeah. people are probably looking forward to that. Yes, absolutely. For sure. Some of our uh, counties might touch maybe upper 50s. Who knows? Exactly. Depending on where you exactly. are, which is a stark contrast to where which we're at right now. Great for the month yes. of July. Very it, abnormal. It feels like a sauna out there for sure. <laughs> yes. Very, very toasty. Viewers Club number, Beth. That number tonight is 150-491 and our jackpot's $1,300. All right.